Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm going to talk about how using the combination of the Costco Executive Membership and the Costco Credit Card, I'm able to get a free month's worth of groceries every year via the cashback that they provide. Now, many of you may know about Costco and the fact that you have to pay a membership fee in order to shop at Costco. And for the typical membership, it's just $60 per year for their regular membership. And now with this membership, you don't have to have the Costco credit card. You can use a debit card or any Visa card to shop at Costco. However, if you do decide to upgrade to the executive membership, which is an additional $60, making it $120 per year, and use the Costco credit card where you can receive cash back, this is a great way for you to earn cash back. And then you can use that cash back to essentially pay for about a month's worth of groceries, or at least in my experience with the way that I use Costco. So let's first talk about how much cash back you can receive just by upgrading to the executive membership via Costco. With the executive membership, every purchase that you make within Costco and at Costco.com, you receive 2% of it as cash back. And so for someone who's signing up for Costco for the first time, if you were to first start out with the $120 executive membership, all you would need to do is spend $6,000 per year so that it is essentially paying for itself. But if you're already a Costco member, that means you already see the benefit of shopping at Costco. So just spending an additional $60 per year to get the executive membership means you only need to spend an additional $3,000 on top of whatever you're spending at Costco in order to see the benefit. And so in this video, I'll talk about the cashback that I earned via the executive membership, as well as by using the Costco credit card. And so in 2019, only counting the purchases that we made within Costco and on Costco.com, our family was able to earn $117 in cashback. So obviously this means that we didn't reach that $6,000 annually just by shopping within Costco and then on Costco.com because we were $3 short of making that $120 mark. However, because we also used the Costco credit card, we were able to earn additional cashback by using that card. And now specifically, when you use your Costco credit card within Costco and at Costco.com, you receive an additional 2% cash back by using the credit card. So that means whenever you shop at Costco or on Costco.com, with the executive membership, you're getting 2% with the executive membership and an additional 2% with the Costco credit card, which means you're essentially getting 4% cash back whenever you shop at Costco. But that's not the only cash back that you can get by using the Costco credit card. Whenever you buy gas, either at Costco or at any other gas station, you actually get 4% cash back at every gas station every time you fill up. In addition, any restaurant that you go to, if you use your Costco credit card, you get 3% cash back. And anytime you pay for travel expenses, whether it's a flight, a hotel, or maybe going on a cruise, you get 3% cash back for that as well. Now, anything that falls out of those categories that I just mentioned and falls outside of making purchases at Costco, you only get 1% cash back. So I wouldn't recommend this card for anything outside of those categories personally. And so the total cash back that we were able to receive as a family by using all of the additional features of using the Costco credit card was actually $247. Now with using the Costco credit card, that pushes us way over that extra $60 the total $120 that we would use by having the executive membership and you know the Costco membership in general. So having that Costco credit card where we're doubling the cash back that we're receiving by shopping at Costco while also getting cash back on our gas, our travel expenses, and whenever we go out to a restaurant, that gave us a total cash back benefit of over $350 for the year. Now, as I mentioned, you get 3% cash back for travel expenses. This is actually really good when you compare it to other travel cards where you'll typically get either 2% cash back for travel expenses or two times points, which is essentially 2% cash back. However, with the Costco card, you don't actually get a sign up bonus once you sign up for their credit card. So when you compare it to a card that I recently reviewed, which was the Chase Sapphire Preferred, where you're getting a 60,000 point bonus once you spend $4,000 within the first three months of having the card, because of that bonus, you're essentially getting up about 16 to 20% cash back, depending on how you actually use the card during that bonus period. 
And so while you're not getting a bonus with the Costco credit card, for just general cashback with travel expenses, it is actually better than many of the other cashback cards out there once you take away the initial bonus offer that you're receiving when you sign up for those other travel specific credit cards. Now to sum up the total benefit that we received in 2019 by using the executive membership as well as using the Costco credit card, once you take away the Costco membership fee of $120, the total net value of using the executive membership combined with the Costco credit card was $244. And so for our family, $244 is just about enough to pay for a month's worth of groceries. And so this is how we're able to earn a month's worth of groceries every year by shopping at Costco, using the Costco credit card, and also using the executive membership via Costco. So if you're already a Costco member and you haven't signed up for the executive membership, I would definitely consider it depending on your spending habits at Costco. So definitely take a look at how much you spent last year at Costco. And if it's over that $3,000 mark, or if it's over that $6,000 mark, which is essentially spending about $500 per month at Costco, then getting the executive membership is definitely worth it for you. And now this doesn't consider any of the other executive membership benefits that you get like discounts on car rentals, discounts on cruises, discounts on their tire center. There are many other ways that you can spend money at Costco and not specifically with groceries. Although many of you out there may actually spend $500 per month on groceries, there are definitely other ways that you can spend money at Costco in order to make sure that you're getting the full benefit of using that executive membership. So if you're currently a regular Costco member, or if you're thinking about getting a Costco membership, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Would this be enough for you to get to the executive membership and get that 2% cash back? And then also get the Costco credit card where you're getting an additional 2% where you're essentially getting 4% cash back by being a Costco credit card holder, as well as a Costco executive member. All right, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you really like this video. And also hit the notification bell and you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.